All right, guys, here we are. It's the big one. Well, kind of. It's the last round before the finals begin in this True Footy AFL Evolution 2 career mode with the mighty West Coast Eagles. We sit top, equal with second and third Collingwood and Hawthorne on percentage. So the equation is simple. I believe if we win today, we will certainly retain top spot. If we lose, we could slip down to third. I think Hawthorne's playing Sydney and Collingwood's playing Gold Coast, and both of those teams would start favourites. So, pretty much, if we want to make top two, we have to win this game. Dom Sheed is out for four weeks with a fracture, I think, off the top of my head, which sucks. And I've brought in another debutant, Luke Foley, to get his first taste of AFL. But in exciting news, guys, Asada has handed down their uh, decision on Willy Rioli, and they're going to give him a one-year ban from the date he was originally suspended. So, that means he's available next week for the finals. I mean, I'm kind of iffy on the dates there. I think he should technically be eligible for week two, but I'm calling it. Willy Rioli will be available for selection for week one of the finals. At this stage, it looks like we could be playing. Uh, Adelaide is currently fourth, so if we win, we play Adelaide, likely in Perth. If we lose, we could be facing Hawthorne or Collingwood away. Um, or if one of them loses, we could be second and host one of Collingwood or Hawthorne. So it looks like it would be one of Collingwood, Hawthorne, Adelaide with a sneaky chance of GWS as well. Khan Eagles, let's get into it. Oh no, McGovern with the clanger. It's not really his fault there. I kind of got screwed over by the camera angle changing. Happens every, oh, yeah, probably once a quarter on average. That, that kind of gets me. So, Hawthorne, sorry, the Bulldogs lining up for their first shot on goal. And he's put it through. A crucial goal. Williams won the hit out. Gathers it now. Redden gives his pace. That is good play from Redden. Having a good season in that support role in the midfield. We pretty much, well, we had Shuey pretty much out for the whole season. Jack Redden stood up beautifully. It looks like Oscar Rowan has the Eagles' first goal. They've hit the front. Oh, come on, that's fucking stupid. Here we go. The Bulldogs should run into an open shot on goals. The angle's tight, but it is no woe for Caleb Daniel. Terrible handball there leading to that goal. Oh, mate. That's rough. That is rough as guts. It passed it to the wrong player. And the Bulldogs get a very cheap goal. Punches the kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Too hard. McLean drives the kick. Oh, don't tell me you shrug that as well. Oh my God. Here we go. They're shrugging everything. It's, I've really got to withstand this momentum because when the game gets like this, it is impossible to stop them. They're lining up for their fourth goal out of five, they've been all over me. Oh, no idea how they've got the ball there. But we'll take it. Oh. Foley, the youngster, as he set up Liam Ryan. I think he has. Not sure why he's drifted forward. The Eagles get a much-needed goal. Things were starting to trend like last week against Collingwood. Finally, Foley on debut. Seems to be playing forward. Not sure why. Had a goal assist, and that will not make the distance. It's just skewed. I don't know what's wrong with my goal team today. Tom Barras with a rare opportunity. It's going to get intercepted, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, it's just half time anyway. They've denied the Eagles a score, and you wouldn't believe that this Bulldog side was languishing in the bottom half of the ladder. They've completely dominated the side that was on track to be minor premiers. Oh, yes, an intercepting mark from youngster Jared Cameron. I don't know if he has the distance in him here, but we've been poor in front of goal today, and that is going to continue, I think. It is. And here is, oh, surprised they didn't pay them a free kick. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. There it was. That was the free kick I was waiting for. 
This is dominant. The Bulldogs have really shown the Eagles up so far today. The Eagles need to respond. Oh, mate, make a contest. Oh, two to one in the middle of the ground. I don't know why that would happen. And this will probably be a Bulldogs goal. Yep, very simple equation there. What? For some reason, my player just kind of stopped. This game is getting out of control. The Eagles' season is getting away from them. This has been terrible for about seven quarters now. Foley, the debutante. He's shanked the kick. It's thankfully Archie is there. I don't know why that wouldn't have made the distance. The Eagles have just their third goal. Oh, it's a shank kick from Rotham. There was a clearly a player there. Ah, oh, no. I've messed this up too, have I? Oh, he's kept it in too. Oh no, <laughs> missed tackles everywhere, hurting the Eagles. It's been the story of the afternoon. Oh no, wrong tackle, wrong play to pass to. Players just swerving in the wrong direction. This is only going one way. Oh, the Eagles start the final quarter with one of their first marks inside 50 that I can remember. JK can't mess this up. Going for goal one. He's put Looks it like through remarkably. We're only 23 points down, although we have been utterly, utterly Kennedy dominated. Thrown in now. Nobody can hold on here. Williams brings it out. Oh, here's a chance. Crips. Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, that sums up my day so far, to be honest, because ball. that was a Monty. Beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to hey, that is a rare mark for the Eagles going forward, and that is a turnover. Oh, bit of luck, bit of rare luck. Oh, he's got to put this through, he's kicked it the wrong way, and uh, that kind of well, it just adds to the list of weird things that's happened in this game. Oh, Liam Ryan, I think, or Lewis Jenner, I think. Sprinted to the ball, got there first, did everything right. He's run past it. Oh, Cripps drops the uncontested mark. This has been one of the worst Eagles performances of the season, and that includes last week's drubbing at the hands of Collingwood. So the Eagles finally get some space. I don't know if Foley has the distance in him. This will test him. He's about 30 metres out, the youngster. It should probably get touched through. Oh, he just got it. The Eagles cut it back to 17 points. Oh, Liam Duggan has done very well there. JK's in a good spot here. He doesn't bring it down, which is no real surprise. But is this going to... No. Yeah. There'll be a ball up close to goal. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto. Oh, oh I, thought, I thought he kicked that through for a goal. It's been awarded a free kick, JK. The Eagles cut the margin back to 11 points. Top two is still a chance for them. Here we go. The Bulldogs have the instant reply. They've got players streaming uncontested into the 50. He's passed it sideways, which is curious. They're going to get a goal out of it regardless. <laughs> oh, the Eagles get a little bit of luck here. Liam Duggan streaming uncontested into the 50. On his non favoured side. That might trickle through. He's going to. Oh, and that is my day in a nutshell. Oh, the missed tackles continue with that one. I don't know how he's failed to bring him down. 
Oh, Duggan, he's had plenty of the ball this last quarter. He's put it through. He's had a few shots on goal. He's drifting forward from that half-back position. The Eagles cut the margin to 12, but time is not on their side. Time is running out on the Eagles' season here. Well, that's dramatic. They can still obviously play finals, but a top two finish is fading fast as Liam Ryan gets pushed in the back. There can't be long left. He's got to move quickly. Yeah, righto. Oh, that's questionable. I'm pretty sure I got that kick fairly accurate. But sometimes you're just not meant to win. There it is. The doggies too strong all day. That was probably one of the worst Eagles performances of the season. And like I said before, that includes last week smashing at the hands of Collingwood. That was brutal. Probably one of the more frustrating games of AFL ever I've ever played. Um, it is a, a painful way to end the season. 35 inside 50s to 42. Doesn't really tell the story. Clang is 75. That would make a lot of sense. Jason Johannesson, 18 touches, and the highest eagle was Jack Redden, shared with Liam Duggan and debutant Luke Foley, who frankly, while he had nine possessions, showed he wasn't quite ready for this level as again, we failed to register a vote. The Eagles have lost four of their last five. They're likely third on the ladder as we're going to have a look at that. So there you can see that is the final ladder. It doesn't actually let us watch, look at the full ladder. So we can't see who finished where. We can see the Lions miss out on the finals. We have slipped to third, which is a really, really disappointing way to end the season. I think we were like probably 14 and 4, so to end 15 and 7. Uh, we might even have been better than that. We've, I'm sure we've lost four of the last five. Uh, that is a terrible way to end the season. And of course, we now play... Who is it? Well, it reckons... It reckons we're playing Collingwood. That's a glitch, because according to this, Collingwood finished top of the ladder. 16 and 6. That doesn't make too much sense. Uh, yeah, alright. Well, let's just go by this. Um, so, it looks like the Giants have already won one final. They're actually through to a home prelim already. That's outstanding. So, that might be who we would play if we don't win our first final. Um, provided we won the second week. So, we're going to play Collingwood at the MCG next week. If we win, we get a home prelim. If we lose, we play the winner of Geelong and Carlton, who have done very, very well to get to where they are. Anyway, guys, hope to see you join us next week for our first final, qualifying final of the MCG against the Collingwood Magpies. 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 Cheers, guys.